What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and as you can tell from the thumbnail, today we are gonna be discussing a very special app that a lot of people had questions about. The app that we're gonna be talking about is Weather on the iPad. So let's go. All right, so with the addition of iPad OS 16 and all that good job, we got a full dedicated weather application. When you actually open it up, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a full screen with weather. Now, don't let this fool you because you do have options. So if you click on these options over here and get this little file drawer, it's gonna basically give you notifications. It's gonna tell you about most of the places that you have visited in the past and places that you have been to, and just basically general information for things that you would need to know. So over here, my location, then you got a Stockbridge location, which these are areas that I go to a lot. And my actual weather app recognizes that I'm in Orlando at least once or twice a year. So it has put Orlando down here at the bottom. Now you can actually come in here and you can customize notifications. You can make it Celsius or Fahrenheit and you can report issues and things of that nature. But if you get notifications, let's see, you allow your notifications, weather will send you notifications. And when you get into here, this is where it really gets interesting because for each location, you can get specified notifications. So you can turn them on or off. If I want Orlando, I want to get when it's going to rain in Orlando. Let's say I'm going on vacation. Boom. There you go. Turn on notifications. If you want current location for severe weather, you turn it on and there you go. That's all you need to do. So you do have dedicated notifications for your specific locations in here. And like you said, you can go through any of these and you can customize how you want your notifications to be dealt. Now, the next thing is you can close this up and it goes back to this full screen view. So since it was left on Orlando, I'm going to come back and get my current location and I'm going to close all this out and it's going to bring up this whole view. Now, the thing that I really like about this is it gives you a lot of information and it works in portrait mode as well as landscape mode. And I really prefer it in the landscape mode just because it seems like it gives you a little more real estate usage on the screen. So up top, you're gonna always have what is going on. So we got nice clouds, it's partly cloudy, no sun out right now. And then it gives you the forecast for the remainder of the day. Down here in the bottom, it's gonna give you a 10 day forecast. It gives you the air quality, the UV index, what time sunset is, what it feels like, humidity, the visibility, it gives you the pressure, atmospheric pressure. It gives you precipitation, wind, all that good stuff. And then it even gives you precipitation for the whole area. It shows the models on there of where it's probably gonna get some rain at. So this is a very detailed weather application and I really have been enjoying using it. Like the fact that I can now just hit this on my iPad and get everything that I need and I don't have to, uh, a lot of times I rely on Google. So. To, to have this on my iPad, because a lot of times I don't have the Google stuff downloaded on here, I can just hit this, get what I need, get a forecast, get an accurate forecast. And this thing has pretty much been on par uh, since I've been using it for a week or so. Now, one of the biggest questions that people had though is, can you have this on an external monitor and be doing other things on here? So that's the next thing I'm gonna show you because if you can see, you plug this up to an external monitor and you can actually have this screen on the external monitor as you're doing productivity type stuff or as you're watching videos or movies and things of that nature. You can just basically go all out. So you can resize it, you can put different apps on the screen with it, whatever you need to do. But this is a great beneficial thing that Apple has finally done. I really appreciate <laughs> it. It took them only about 12 years to get this done, but I appreciate this whole setup, uh, a full-fledged application for iPad. And so one of the other biggest things is when you want to download this weather application, let's say you come into the app store and let's make sure we got this keyboard on and activated. Type in weather. 
And this application and this application come up. All these weather things, these three weathers, they're gonna come up. There was no dedicated weather application when I came in here, even on iPad, um, iPad OS 16. So what I had to do was go on my iPhone and share the weather app with my iPad and then it gave me the full weather. This one is like a paid subscription type thing. It looks like weather, but it's not, it has a dot behind it. This one has a, a comma or something, like I don't know what it is, an apostrophe, it has something. But these are not official weather apps. So the official weather app, I had to share it from my iPhone to my iPad. That's how I was able to get it to work. But once you get it on here, it works seamless. There are no issues. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I did get a lot of questions about weather app, how it's working, how it looks. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and that's what Apple does. They kind of sit back and watch things and then they implement and this is what they've gotten. So I like it. I think it's something that should have been done a long time ago and I really appreciate them finally going ahead and doing this. Now, if we could just get an Apple Watch app for this, that would be perfect. That's what I would much more appreciate than this, but that's neither here nor there. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out and until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average that guy out. Peace. Spin it up.